Oh, what's up guys and welcome to this video. In this video we're going to cover um, actually making the hero. So we're going to write out all the code for creating our ML hero. So it's not going to be animated or anything. But we just want to make him kind of look um, kind of look like a little ninja dude. So to start we are going to make a new class here. It's going to be a Swift file. We're going to call this ML hero. Then we can just set up the, um, the basic frame here, class ML hero. He's also going to be an SK sprite node. Uh, his super class is going to be an SK sprite node. And uh, be sure to import sprite kit so that the um, so Xcode recognizes the sprite kit classes. And now we are going to um, create the initialization method. So instead of actually having parameters for this initialization method, we actually are just going to um, override the very the default initialization method for um, SK sprite node. This way, when we do ML here, when then those parentheses, it's going to give us everything we put in here um, into the variable that we initialize it into. So it's going to give us this error here because anytime we make a custom initialization method, we're going to need to add this shtick right here. And yeah, so let's start with this, this initialization method. First, we're just going to create a basic um, SK sprite node like we did with the ground. So we're going to call the superclasses in that method, set the texture to nil because we don't care about that. Um, the UI color, we're actually going to set to clear color because our hero is going to be a set of different parts. So he's going to have a body, he's going to have his arm, his legs, and we need to kind of split him into these separate parts because we want to animate um, different parts at different times during the game. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to actually add, add more nodes to the ML hero SK sprite node. So that's why we can have him um, be a clear color and just have all the other colored bits be separate nodes. So for his size, we're going to say CG size make, we're going to make him 32 by 44. So now before we continue on with the initialization method, I'm going to create a few global variables up here. This way it's just going to make it easier when we create our other functions for um, for actually animating the different body parts of our ML hero. Because I'm going to make a body variable, an arm, uh, and then a left foot and a right foot. And these are all the parts that we're going to need to animate. So this just makes it easier for us uh, when animation comes around. Cool. So um, now let's make it. So actually, no, let first let's go into our game scene and let's set our hero up here just to make it easy, him easily accessible through all our other methods. He's going to be an ML hero. I want to say hero equals ML hero like this. And now we want to position our hero. Now, just take note of the fact that when we actually add our hero to the scene, um, he's going to be that clear color, so we're not actually going to be able to see him just yet. But let's just kind of set his position and add him to the scene anyways, just to kind of um, get him set up here. So we're going to say hero.position equals CG point make. Now, if we're trying to think of where we want our hero to be positioned within the scene, we want him to be um, just above our ground, about 70, 70 to 80 points from the left of our screen. So I'm going to say... Um, give him an X value of 70. And to get his Y value, actually, I'm going to position him relative to the ground that we already have in our scene. So I'm going to say moving ground dot position dot Y. And so this gets us the Y position of the center of our moving ground. And then we want to add half of that moving grounds height, which is going to get us just above the moving ground. And um, just bear with me, this might be a little confusing, but after you type it out, it'll probably start to make more sense. And then you also want to add in um, half of the hero's height as well to get that hero just positioned above the ground. And keep in mind that the default anchor points for SK sprite nodes are the direct center of their body. So this is positioned, the hero is getting positioned from the center of itself. And let me just like, I'll type this out and you guys will kind of see what I'm saying. So 
dot size dot height over two plus um, plus hero dot frame dot size dot height over two. And so I can let's add them to the add them to the scene. So because he's a clear color right now, we wouldn't see anything if we had added him. So let's just change this temporarily to um, black color. And now if we run this, we'll see if we um, we'll see if we got this working correctly. And perfect. So it looks like um, our hero node is set right here. That's exactly where we want him to be. Uh, now we can change him change him back to clear color and we can start adding in some of his body parts here. So um, to start, we're gonna create his body and his body is just gonna be a black node, uh, color, UI color dot black color. And we're gonna make him, we want him to have the same width as our, um, as the entirety of our node, but we want him to have a little bit less height because we want to leave in some space for um, his legs and feet at the bottom. So I'm going to make him 40, a height of 40. And for his position, we are going to be positioning his body within the, um, the coordinate system of our ML hero node. So you kind of have to keep that in mind when you're positioning different nodes within each other. So you're going to see that I'm just going to make this 0, 2. And because the body is getting positioned from the center, um, the center of the ML hero node, it's just going to essentially just lift him up two points from the middle of the node. And um, I will add him here and you'll kind of see, kind of see what this positioning did as soon as we run this. So you see that right there, like the entire node, um, actually just to demonstrate this a little better, I'm gonna make the ML hero a red color just temporarily here. And you're gonna see that, you can see the ML hero, the, the ML hero node is all of this right here. And our body we just added within the ML hero node, just kind of above the center right there, two points above the center. So um, let's, yeah, let's change this back to clear color. I think I'll have time here to um, at least add in, add in the face or like, um, at least add in the skin color here. So I'm gonna create a constant of skin color just to kind of make it easier, uh, kind of more readable code. I'm gonna make him UI color. I have this preset, um, pre-selected color here. Oops. It's going to be this right here, 193 over 255 and 168 over 255, alpha 1.0. And um, you guys can use whatever color you want, as always, but this is just a general skin color if you want to use that. And I'm going to say let face equal SK sprite node uh, skin color size, it's going to be CG size make. And we want him to be, again, um, the width of our original ML hero node. And actually, I was going to, I'm going to set this equal to. Uh, the width is going to be the um, self.frame.size.width. And that's actually, it would be better for me right here instead of putting 32 to put self.frame.size.width. So just in case we, and like if we want to change the width of our entire ML hero node, this will make the body um, the correct size as well. For our height, I'm gonna say, call that a height of 12. And, um, Oh, right, I don't need the, the width keyword in there. So face.position equals CG point make. We want him to be positioned um, about six points above the center, positioned from the center of the face. And we're gonna do body to add child face. So now, Awesome. So you can see now we have, um, we have a basic face. We have kind of the basic body set up. In the next video, we'll go through all the, uh, the detailed features like the eyes, legs, and the arm. And um, it's going to be kind of a lot of the same in the next video. And if you guys end up, if it, kind of, if it starts to get repetitive for you guys, feel free to just kind of copy down the code and just get it running. You don't really need to um, focus on it too much.